of course, we've been talking for 15 minutes and I haven't even mentioned the name Kyle McCord. Uh, we got Devin Brown, who we didn't get to see in the spring game. So the alarmists say Kyle McCord didn't look good in the spring game. And if he's not been named the starter yet, how good can he possibly be? And then all the people that rely on the track record say, shoot, I made the comment the other day, even beyond Fields, Haskins, and Stroud, just talking about, and I'm not talking about these guys being championship or elite quarterbacks, but if you look at where every Ohio State quarterback has ended the season during their careers and what type of games they've played in, shoot, you can insert Terrell Pryor, even Todd Beckman, anybody going back to Steve Belisari, they've all played in championship level games. Um, so that's the expectation. That is the bar that Kyle McCord is going to be playing in the college football playoff at the end of the year. So yes, is Kyle McCord up to that? I mean, we watched him play championship level football in Pennsylvania for four years as him and Marvin Harrison Jr. destroyed and rewrote the record books uh, in the Catholic school league. So I think Kyle is a tough guy from, uh, he played in the Philly area. Uh, I think he knew what he signed up for when he uh, decided to come to Ohio State. And I, I know a lot of Buckeye fans have disappeared since they've said this, but you've been around long enough, Mark. You remember when CJ was in the spring battle and they thought he was battling with Cal McCord. But now all of a sudden, after three years in Ryan Day's system, we're unsure if that's the quarterback or if he's the guy. But when he was in a true freshman, people saw him throw one pass to Garrett Wilson and was – they were ready to name him the guy. So, I mean, I still have faith in Kyle. I think him and Marv are going to have a connection that we haven't seen in a long time. Um, and I'm really excited to see what Kyle is able to do. I think he's up for the job. And I think he is uh, capable of playing championship caliber football for the Buckeyes. I agree with them right there. Um, I'm not very – I'm not very on polar polarizing uh, takes as far as the quarterbacks go. But Kyle – I mean, it's Ryan Day, his track record. I mean, he's uh, his track record shows us that the quarterback's going to be ready to go. The quarterback's going to be ready to be prepared. Um, in the spring game, everyone that's played football before, you know, it's spring games, glorified practice. Um, the interesting aspect of that spring game that I found out was our defense looked a lot more athletic with Kenyatta Jackson Denzel Curry, I'm mean, not uh, not Denzel Curry, but <clears throat> I'm sorry, Caden, Caden Curry, Curry, Hero Canoe, who was the MVP, wrecking that offensive line. Jermaine Matthews looked amazing in man coverage. David Igmanosin. All I noticed was like, wow, like our defense looked extremely more athletic, and they're sitting on a place. So I don't think that's really uh, a suggestion or a preview of like how Kyle McCord is going to play. I think he's going to be great. Offense is always behind the defense when it comes to spring ball. Kyle's going to be great, but um, I think that's more of a his spring ball performance, more of a uh, hello from the defense more so than from his performance being good or bad. Mark, the way I took the Kyle McCord spring game was more of it was about the O-line and the D-line battling because of Devin Brown getting hurt. Honestly, um, you know, people are doubting Kyle McCord. To me, if you're doubting Kyle McCord, I feel like you're doubting Ryan Day. We seen Kyle McCord his freshman year, what he was able to do against D1 athletes when he wasn't really even prepping to be the starter at all. So, and again, to go back to his Instagram post with that car, that's a starting level car for a starting QB. There you go. When in doubt, forget the uh, the game tape evaluation. Go to the Instagram, check out the car, <laughs> check out the lady, whatever you need to check out to see if it's a starting level cornerback. Uh, also, remember Justin Fields' line in the spring game. What was it? It was an ugly, like, 4 out of 15 or something like that. Yeah, not pretty. He did pretty well. 